I was going to leave masonry alone. I was, because there's this modern, unspoken agreement with masons to stay away from Catholics, Catholics to stay away from masons. But since they can't help themselves, and since they can't help themselves but fuck up this beautiful world we have, well, that's going out the window now, isn't it? So if Hamas is designated a terrorist organisation by our Western governments, even though I wouldn't classify Hamas a terrorist organisation, I would classify it as a armed, illegally armed resistance with elements of extremists within that may or may not be active and a lot of it could be just garbage Israeli propaganda though it is for certain that they were active at least eight years ago. However, I wouldn't designate the whole organisation, the organisation as a whole, a terrorist organisation. It's an it's a legally armed resistance. Okay, Ukraine. They just... Uh, how do I put it? The, the hypocrisy of what's occurring in Ukraine highlighted against Gaza, it's clear that someone is taking sides and not being impartial. Different rules for different days, and that's consistent with Zionism. Now back to Masonry, and Zionism included. If Hamas is a terrorist organisation, Zionists, Zionism, and Masonry should be classed ten times harsher than what Hamas is classed. You heard that right. I'll, I'll say it again. Masonry and Zionism are ten times more volatile to any nation state than Hamas could have ever been before when there were extremist elements all over and proven to be so. Masonry is the most dangerous and hostile ideology in any Western nation. I'll say it again, Zionism and Masonry are two sides of the exact same coin, and that's not a cheap slogan, that's not just yeah, a, a typical saying. You know, you, you, you hear that a lot, it's you know, just the second side of the same coin, it's, it, it's said colloquially, it's said uh, very off the top of the head, but when I say that Zionism and masonry are two sides of the exact same coin i mean that it's a unique coin it's one of there are there is no other coin like it and it's just those two one side the other masonry zionism zionism masonry uh, one element of you could say british slash anglo patriotism mixed with jewish sentiment masonry and the other element zionism which is just outright uh, Jewish supremacism and they both meet at the same table they both meet at the same point hence why you are not able as a mason to in any shape way or form look at your grand architect as anything else but someone of an Anglo Jewish heritage go on go to every grand architect you know go on go and do it the head of the lodge the the, the your so-called grand master whoever because they do go by a lot of fucking names. Go on. And I'm, don't worry about the exotic rights. The Egyptian right, the Scottish right, the this right, that right. And all these cute names and how the even the Lebanese, the Maronites have their own special right. Ultimately, they're all subordinate. They all have to obey some grandmaster white clown. Go on. Find an, a grand architect. Find a head that isn't person of Jewish Anglo heritage. Now, and, and, I, and when I last checked, it was like 99% of all grand architects, head of the lodge, uh, they've, they've got so many fucking different names. Even They even use the title Grand Master, which is an offence to the Grand Master system. They, they're all of the same lineage. So why, if it is supposedly a fraternal organization and it does all these humane things which is a load of fucking garbage why would 
it not why would it be the case that at the very top the only people that pull these strings are an anglo jewish persons it doesn't make any fucking sense Fucking bunch of fucking idiots following them off a fucking cliff while they're fucking puppeting you. You fucking deluded cunts. All just because it's good business. You oh people are will this the Maltese saying is true. People are willing to be deluded if it means it helps their pocket. That goes very far. Anyone will believe anything. That they'll believe that fucking the Loch Ness is God if it helps their cause. And that's the sad case of many people following these dickheads off a cliff in the masonry. Now, let me put it to you this way. Zionism and Masonry are the core, the causes, the outright causes, the primary cause of all the major wars and conflicts of the 20th century. They are the ones who are behind the scenes at a national level, even a parliament, particularly British parliament, and creating this new Israeli fucking Masonry state, or Zionist state. They started all the major wars. And what are they doing again? What are they doing in Israel? What are they trying to drag us into? See, masonry isn't an Australian thing. You may think because masonry first popped up in Australia, I think 1912, 1913. I think it was 1913. Uh, there, there probably was masons before that here, but there wasn't an official presence. I think it was 1913, the first Grand Lodge was inaugurated here. I could be wrong on that. But it was around that time. I mean, Don Braddon was a mason. But... The point is, masonry is not uniquely Australian. Masons will sell you that. Masons will sell you fucking anything. They'll tell you your mother's a mason. They don't give a fuck. They are just so fucking stupid. It's, it hurts the brain to even want to be like them. How do you fucking people do it? How can you hurt your brain like that? You fucking stupid poor cunts. The point is, it's not Australian. It's actually un-Australian. If you study masonry inside out, there is nothing more un-Australian. It baffles me at how many Australians have been conned into adopting masonry as a crucial element of Australia. It's the most hostile thing to Australian life possible. Lo and behold, what's been happening in this country for the last 30 years, now that they've got free reigns, fuck me dead. They're the most hostile ideology known to man cause of all these fucking wars, cause of all these problems. And now, what do you see them do in their puppeted media? Oh, you don't hear them talk about 20, 22,000 uh, people being genocided, but you'll hear them talk about fucking Ben Smith, the soldier, who happened to, perchance, do something wrong, maybe not, maybe so. Oh, they dragged him through mud, these masons, slash Zionists, who control your media. But fuck you. Nothing, not, not zilch, Nothing about what Israel are doing now. Uh, 22,000 innocent babies dying, people dying. Oh, yeah, because they did that, that justifies it. Yeah. Fuck off, you stupid fucking cunts. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. You fucking deluded schmucks. So, I'll say it again. If Hamas is in any way a hostile or extreme... It, extremist organization, a terrorist organization. Masonry should be outright banned from top to bottom. Yeah, masonry should be banned. And Zionism should be banned. Not Jews, because Zionism is like an extracurricular activity of Jews, just as extremism is for some Muslims. Okay? You don't we're not gonna ban Muslims. We're not gonna ban them from their religion. We're not gonna ban their religion, but we did ban their extremist element. That's a fact. And hopefully it's gone for good. And this would be the same case if we started seeing extremist Christians trying to force conversions or do, do something crazy, which is highly unlikely, but a possibility. It's the same thing with Zionist shit. It's worse than uh, Islamic extremism. It's more organized, more diabolical, and more fraudulent. It, it's pure fraud. And you'd ban them. If I was the president of this country, I would my first act, really, and I'm not fucking with you, would be to ban Freemasonry and to ban Zionism. They would be banned. They, make no mistake, they would be outright banned. And you would have your ass fucking kicked from here to Mars if you practice Masonry in this country of ours that's called Australia. It is the most hostile 
ideology to the Australian way of life, and, uh, and Australians think otherwise. They are so fucking stupid and deluded. They've actually been puppeted into believing that because there's always this Australian element that Masons can pull, just like they do with anything. Oh, but look at this, and this, and this, and this, and this will help you. And as long as you help an Australian, unfortunately, Australians are... Well, it's not unfortunate, but because Australians are so easygoing, it's just like, yeah, she'll be right. It, it'll make sense, but it doesn't. Masonry is the most hostile fucking ideology that this country could ever see. It's not. It's completely and utterly and purely un-Australian. So you want to talk about Hamas? Well, I want to talk about Zionism and Freemasonry and how fucking shit it is. Pure terrorism. Pure. Again, the people who concocted these world wars, Masonry, Zionism, 